Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to From the Depths with yours truly, Commanders, your favorite ASMR series. So what are we doing today? Well, we're going with the Nita campaign, but I have a brand new weapon for us. To crush the Onyx, Onyx, wa Onyx Watch, my words, with this is Megaman. I am way too proud of this. This is our newest airship. It comes in at this many materials here. And then energy cost there. Length of 163. And 25 width. This airship is heavily armed with cram cannons. And a special surprise for when we get into the campaign. Oh god, hello. But yeah. You know, maybe those sandbox are going to get annoying. But who knows. But yeah, we'll be jumping straight into the campaign, and our first objective is to spawn this ship in. Let's go. And here we are, back in the campaign once again. Now I'm going to immediately pause time and see what was going on. So we had just captured the furnace, which is excellent. And the Onyx Watch is launching a counter-attack. The Claymore, the Cauldron, and the Halberd. Unfortunately, our forces are down here, capturing this zone. So thus, we require reinforcements. And I don't think we have the materials for our new airship. No. And if we follow it, no it's not. It's here. And we've also got a name for the drones now, and I've gone with Comet, as suggested by Tesla. Apparently this is named after the one comment I thought I'd get. Amazing. This one's still a work in progress. Shh. You see nothing. Anyway, I am going to let the furnace defend itself. And let's see how that turns out. Okay, we may have time to pull some drones from down here. You lot, get over here. And defend that. And then we have two of our lovely clan barons versus the pilferer. Does this thing have missiles? Well, let's find out. The first battle of the day. Uh, I still need to repaint these. Oh, I remember you. It's one of my favorite deep water guard designs, actually. That and the crossbones. Missiles from the Cram Drones dealing a lot of damage there. Very good for our opening. Oh, but it looks like the Cram Drones are going to be taking significant damage here. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't win this. Yeah, we've lost one Cram Drone. Ah, this one's off, that's not helping. Respawn, damn it. Okay. Come on, little Cram Drone. It looks like luckily it's spending its time attacking the downed one, rather than the one that can actually attack it. Well, the good news is we've removed its superstructure. If this last weapon goes offline, I'd consider this open for capture. Yes, yes it has. Alright, stop fire. Oh. oh well. It's gone. We barely won that. Luckily, our cram drones to the north have broken through as well. They should be here to assist the furnace. The furnace is a lot of volume, but it's not a lot of firepower. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put the cram drones back here so it just doesn't spawn on land. So, what is the cauldron? Because you're definitely big. Okay, you're a little advanced cannon boat. Oh, no, those are large missiles, aren't they? Yes, yes, they definitely are. That's not good. If those hit us, our drones are just going to go down. Same with the furnace, actually. It's going to do a lot of damage to it. And it looks like I spawned the furnace in the water as well. But if we can take this out, this will give us almost enough materials for the airship. <sighs> I 
I do love the cup of tea whilst blowing up the enemy. And drones being as derpy as ever. Look at them. Very adorable. Have we killed it? Yes, good job, Crown Drones. There's a glorious victory for our forces. A lot of materials. And how close are you? Zero point eight. If I, how much is it? I sacrifice you. You. I don't want to sacrifice all three. This thing has, but does that put us? Yes, it does. Let's unleash explosion magic upon the enemy. God, our airship is not ready for combat, and the Onyx Watch launching a counterattack. They are counterattacking us with the Halberd and the Claymore. So they went down to there to come back up and around. Okay. Just trying to fool me, apparently. Uh, I'm going to let that Red Beard take that tile. Doesn't really matter, and we'll capture this one, then take it back again. Okay, so we got a single crown drone to handle this threat. Uh. How close are you going to be? No, I'm not going to be airborne. We still have a volume advantage. Let's include the claymore. Yeah, and then they're even. Right, then it looks like it's one crack. Can I just record normally? Please, voice. I don't want to sound like ASMR guy again. And it looks like it is the claymore and the halberd versus our lovely furnace fortress and the cram drone. Which I still need to retrofit, actually. Furnace starting our opening shot. It's the Halberd. Two nasty advanced cannons there. And it's reinforcements in the Claymore. Which is a cram cruiser. Oh, of course the one drone I kept is the derpy one. Yeah, bugger. That thing has lambs? Oh, great. We may lose this fight, and I do not want to. And definitely not mid-battle retrofitting. Shh. I am 100% allowed to do that. Ah, that's got material on it. Uh... I'm not giving it missiles in the middle of the battle. You have no proof. Yeah, please don't sink. I mean, I was going to do this outside of the battle, but you know. How are you holding up, friend? And still 80%. Please just keep tanking those shots. Uh, take that. Watch the lambs cancel all of these. God damn it. That's uh, not good. I wasn't expecting Onyx Watch to have lambs on their non godlies. This is bad. The airship was up, we could handle this. Uh, come on, missiles, get through. Yeah, ah. Sink you two up so you fire at the same time. Come on, get through. Yes, damage! Cram drum. It's dead. If I synchronize all your cram cannons, hopefully a full volley should get through. There we go, the damage is getting in there. The Claymore is attempting to move into land to flank us by the looks of things. Uh, that should be fine. Handle the one with lambs. I think... Do you know what? I think that's disabled, so... Change your target, actually. Oh, no, no, it's not. That is not... That's the opposite of disabled. That has a gun still. No, stop going for that. Go for the thing with lambs. The Claymore isn't even being a threat right now. 
It's actually just stuck on land. Do those crimes not... Oh, they're not fused. Honestly, I don't think it's too bad to capture this, this thing, because it's just kind of sitting there. You're not even fighting back against us. Normally I wouldn't capture this until the turret's completely gone. But if it's just going to sit there in the water, not turning. Of course you're turning now. Damage to enemy. Oh, low health. Okay, we won that. Well, that was way closer than it should have been. Let's be honest, eh? You really had to attack the still-building airship, didn't you? We are facing down the greenfield. Okay, you might just be a sailing ship. Let's pick the okay, cool, it's pulled in properly. Alright, this is our first big opponent of the campaign. Greenfield. This is a pirate ship. I really like that, that's pretty cool. Watch. Here she is. Not 100% finished, but flying. By the looks of things. Which is very good. This is a little addition I made. That was honestly a boring fight. Don't give me an achievement for that, that sucked. That greenfield should hopefully give us enough to finish the airship. Meanwhile, down here, we are going to be engaging the rapier. It does look like the enemy designs are slowly getting bigger, which is good. Why is everything in slow-mo? Oh, I hate the slow-mo button, I don't remember what it is to fix it. Here's the rapier, and it's gone. Well, that was uneventful. But yeah, we killed the rapier, and the deep wall guard is launching another counter-attack with a red tuna and a frantic ch- Oh. Uh, those are big things. We don't have big units. What, what was that? Do I add that? They already out force counters by quite a bit. So I'm going to say no. The red tuna, which looks very different to what I remember it looking like. Huh, that's definitely had an upgrade. And the frantic chicken. Stupid design. I love it though. Right, go get them, boys. Uh, these crown drones are not going to suffice for the entirety of the deep war guard. Saying that though, are you out of weapons already, Red Tuna? You aren't fighting back. Alright, go off. Yeah, it's gone. Never mind. Yeah, she's ready. Right, now let's give her a minute to fuel up with resources. Right, these boys will defend our territory from this ship here. This shouldn't be too hard of a battle. The critical end, it's gone. Nice one, Crime Drones. Honestly, we should win this by a landslide. Hopefully this time you'll get to use your special feature. Probably not, because you're going to just kill it with the first crown volley. No, you're not. You're going to miss. Horrible. Right, I will need to resave the projectile to actually keep materials. Exploded! But it is explosion magic to say the least. So yeah, it's a nuke launching wooden airship. Okay, go off, because I don't... Actually, yeah, just keep diving. Hello, this must be your AI. No, no, it isn't. This is your AI. No. Oh, come on, I put it in low health. Where's your AI? 
Let me turn. Ah, oh, okay. There we go. We have captured the Bastion. You want to join our little fleet? Oh, it's adorable. So, whilst we're capturing this tile, current work in progress conversion over there. Get him, boy. Take out the pioneer. Yeah, those are triggering from way too far away. But look at that, those nukes just devastate the Onyx Watch vehicles. Now you may be wondering what I'm actually doing to this little bastion, and I am turning it into a cargo ship for us. Can shelter it, since we do actually need one? So yeah, this thing shouldn't really get into fight if it can avoid it. But I don't want vehicles that just follow the fleet and don't do anything. Since it's boring and it doesn't really makes sense. And we're under attack again. Oh, not cheap either. You're not mega expensive, but you're not cheap. Hopefully our Cramdron should be able to win us another battle against the Deepwater Girls. If anyone was wondering, there's the repainted. So let's get a look at you. I said let's get a look at you. Earth 11. Let's get a look at you. That is a cool airship. Ooh, I want to capture that. You are heavily armed as well. I say heavily armed. You look heavily armed. You're not that heavily armed. You look a cargo airship or something? Alright, Cram Drones. Win this and get us a capture on that. Because I want to play with that. I'm also going to try and keep duplicates of the same ship to a minimum. So there would only ever be one of this capture kind of thing. With the exception of little things like the drones. Have you actually taken it out of the sky? Surely not, no. That's a lot of missiles, that's why you're so expensive then. Mm. I do love air battles. Those AP, those are APS guns. Jeez, little comments are doing quite well. Even though these two are down in the water, it won't go to the last one. I jinxed it. I mean, they're not entirely out, but we could really do with something else on the deep war guard front. I think. Hopefully, I don't sound as ASMRy before. Go get them, missiles! Come on, shoot it down, shoot it down so I can capture it. Yeah, our deep wall guard front needs reinforcements. It's over by this point, yeah. There's a deep wall guard victory. I was not expecting that. Uh, go to the barnacle and get repairs, please. Uh, that's not good. But we could really do with this. Moving out, moving out, moving out, moving out, moving out, moving out, moving out. Can you travel at max? If I remove the explosions. To make a beeline like here. Out. here. Moving out. Want moving another cram drone here. They're going to take that tile. There's not much I could do about that. All right. Then there was probably a shortcut there, but I have quickly glued us together some firepower, 
Due to the sudden counterattack of the deep water guard and the surprising threat level of the situation, I decided we needed another large ship. So, I did end up doing it. This is the furnace that we captured. It has been turned into an emergency battleship. So the idea with this one is I'm going to send it to go fend off the Onyx Watch temporarily. And wonder why the back isn't painted. As you can tell, this was glued together in pretty rushed amount of time. But we do require an additional large ship. Fighting a war on two fronts is never a smart idea, but but this emergency battleship should allow us to hold off the Onyx Watch just for a bit, so we can send the Megaman down to attack the Deepwater Guard. At least that's the plan. Now this does cost a bit more than the Furnace, but I'm hoping it has enough resources to retrofit and go into combat. Go to the Furnace. We'll move the Bastion here, which I'm turning into a cargo ship, so I plan on retrofitting it with repair tentacles quickly. So the thing operates as our full little builder. It just runs around and generally does everything, you know? Uh, no, do this one first. That's more interesting. Right then, the Megaman has encountered the airship that took out our previous forces. So let us get some revenge for our first defeat. Now, I don't want you to kill us fully. I want to try and capture this airship because I really like it. So if you could... Yeah, launch a couple nukes. Launch like a nuke and then I'll turn you off. So we fired off the nuke, so hold your fire for a second until the nuke lands, and it should down this airship. That's the hope, anyway. Come on, get it. Uh, it's launching another one. Okay, you know what? Just destroy it, because it's Clearly not going to finish it off in time. There we go. That's a hit. Launch another volley. And yeah, that took it out. Oh well. That is a revenge victory for us. The Furnace Battleship is almost ready as well to defend us against another Onyx Watcher stalk with the Stalwart, Cold Rune, Saharlik. Trade fleet, catapult. I might build some more lighter units so we're not just pumping out just cram drones. You also may have noticed I changed our fleet logo to be a lovely Imperial Eclipse. Well, today's episode has been quite eventful. We haven't taken as much territory as I would have hoped. We are continuously fending off the attacks of the Onyx Watch and the Deep Water Guard, and it's just all out war today. We've got our lovely new airship, and the next episode, we will roll out the Furnace Battleship. So, thank you everyone for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, etc. Helps out the channel, and shows that I should keep doing this series. Thank you for watching.